Morning, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to uh, to smoke some chicken today, and I'm going to uh, go through a video with you guys on um, my method for cooking. Uh, I'm going to be cooking on um, my Kamado Joe, so I've got to uh, clean this bad boy out. But um, once I clean this thing out. I'll come back and uh, show y'all how I set it up, um, what I'm cooking today, how I prepped it, and uh, what kind of temp we're going to go at. Um, I'm not being promoted by anybody. Uh, I just like to smoke. And um, I smoke so much that I just thought, hey, why not do a YouTube video? So I'm just going to go through today uh, how I do it. And uh, when I get done cleaning this grill out and setting it up, I'll come back. See y'all in a little bit. All right, YouTube, as we talked before, um, I cleaned the grill out, and now I'm starting to put some charcoal in here. Come on over with the camera. So uh, I cleaned it out, I vacuumed it out real good. Anybody who has a Kamado would know that uh, if you get too much ash in here, it'll clog it up, and, and you just you need to clean it out periodically, usually about twice a year. So uh, I had some pretty bad ash in here, so I started putting some, some good charcoal, put some bigger pieces on the bottom, and uh, we're just going to fill this thing up the rest of the way and uh, we'll start getting this thing lit. And when we go to light this thing, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you guys. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. Hey, everybody. I know we uh, talked about coming back and showing you guys how this thing got lit. Um, so we just lit two starters. I used the tumbleweed type starters. Uh, we filled our firebox pretty much all the way up. Um, and we put us quite a few chunks in there. We like we like the smoky flavor. Um, I just use this Royal Oak charcoal. I like it pretty much. It's got a good flavor to it. It's pretty cheap too, um, and, and and it tastes good. I mean, flavor's good on it. Um, we use these wood chunks from Academy. I love Academy's wood chunks and their charcoal. Also, they have some really good stuff. So we got this thing full. Uh, we got it going. We're going to bring it up to about 225, uh, 225, 250-ish. And I think we're going to go for about three hours a day, maybe. We'll see. We, we'll just see how the chicken looks. So um, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes and show you all what we did to our chicken. And uh, it's going to take a little while for this grill to come up to temp before I can put this chicken on there. And uh, we'll come back and we'll just show you all what's going on, what we did. Hope you all stick around for some good barbecue. All right, guys, I thought I would just talk to you guys for a minute. I know my video has been kind of choppy and I'm not real happy with the way it's been coming out. So I really just want to talk to y'all uh, about what I'm doing today. So today my grandmother is coming, on, coming over, uh, my mom's coming over, my aunt's coming over, and, uh, you know, it's me and my wife and my two kids. So I bought this Kamado Joe last year. Uh, anybody who knows anything about ceramic cookers, which if you're watching this video, you probably know a lot about ceramic cookers. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. They're expensive. Um, I bought this Kamado Joe last year. Um, I think I got it for like 700 bucks or something, but that's a lot of money for a grill. One of the best investments I've ever made. Um, I smoke on that thing all the time. Didn't know a lick about smoking last year. And if you watch YouTube, there's a lot of guys out there. Smoky Ribs, uh, Baby Back Maniac, um, Just Piddling. There's there's so many videos and so many guys that are out there doing so much good stuff. So these these guys are pretty much who I learned to smoke from. Uh, uh, and I'm still, I'm still playing with it. I'm still trying to learn, you know. Um, but I thought, hey... I smoke so much. I've been doing it a lot. Why not give you guys a video? And um, in a little while, we'll go over. I'll, I'll kind of show you all my grill. I have the classic. It's just it's the smallest one they make. Um, but the grill is phenomenal. It does some really good meats. Uh, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I know that's a lot of money for somebody to put out on a grill. It really is. It really is. And uh, we've been thoroughly happy with it. I mean, I, I wouldn't trade it. I'm glad I spent the money. It was a, an, a well investment. Um, you look at ceramic cookers and how long they pot potentially will last you versus another grill that you might buy that's not going to last you so long. 
And in the long run, you're going to end up spending more money than you would have if you just put a little bit more out. And that's the way I looked at it. Everybody doesn't look at it like that, but that's the way I looked at it. And we've gotten a lot of use out of it. We've gotten a lot of joy out of it. And it makes some amazing food. Um, but, you know, I've learned along the way some techniques. And that's what you have to kind of go around YouTube. And you kind of got to learn how to do it. And I had to learn. Because uh, at first, I wasn't very good on it. Even though it's a ceramic and it's an expensive ceramic, I messed a lot of food up. And uh, it's it's been a really a lot of fun. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys just enjoy it this video and the cook I do. This is my first YouTube video, so be gentle. Be gentle. Um, but I've seen a lot of guys doing this, and it, it's fun. It's fun to watch people cook stuff and, and to get ideas, and um, that's what I love about YouTube. Uh, so really, guys, just sit back. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and um, you know, let me know what you guys think. I mean, if you got a different technique, you got a better way of doing it, um, I'm going to get my grill up to temp. It's still smoking over there. Um, it's got a little ways to go, and uh, we'll put our deflector plates in there, and we will get going, and, and I'll show you how I set it up, and uh, we'll see y'all here in a few minutes. One. All right, guys, like I said, um, grill's up to temp. We're going to go ahead and put our deflector plates in, and I'm going to show y'all how I do it. So, I got my, my firebox is full. I got my chunks in there. I set up in the lower position. For this cook, I'm setting up in the lower position. Set it up. Get some chicken on the grill today. It's gonna be a good day. A bad day of barbecuing is better than a good day at work, I say. All right. Something like that. All right. So this is how I'm gonna set up for the cook. I'm gonna close the close my grill up here in a few minutes let it continue to smoke and pull me up to about 225 ish trying to stay below 250 today i want to go a little bit lower i find if you go real high you can dry the chicken out sometimes so we're gonna go a little bit lower um it's early this morning looks like i just rolled out of bed excuse me for that a little windy it's gonna be kind of tricky today with the wind um, trying to keep the temps where we want them but we're gonna try our best we're gonna make the best of it i'll see you guys in a few minutes Right, hey everybody, um, as promised, we're back. Uh, and this is the chicken we're gonna brine. We're gonna do some legs. Um, we're gonna do some more legs and we got some thighs in there too. We've been brining this overnight. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys the recipe to the brine. It was just a simple brine that my wife made up. Uh, I think it's got salt and some garlic and some other stuff in it. But, uh, these are the beans we're going to be doing later. We're going to have those on the smoker as well. Those are going to be amazing. But uh, we're going to get this stuff, this chicken, out of the out of the brine here. And we're going to kind of pat it dry and we're going to season it up. Because uh, my grill is sitting at about 255 right now. And this is a, one, a really cool device right here, this Thermapro. Um, there's a lot of wireless thermometers on the market, but uh, my wife got me this one for Christmas, and this thing is amazing. I love it. Um, it doesn't sync to my phone or anything, but I can come sit inside and hang out, and I can still monitor my temps. I'm at 255 right now, so I need to need to get that down a little bit. So, um, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes when we, once we get this chicken out, and uh, uh, we'll see you all in a few minutes. Um, we got our chicken laid out here. Uh, we finally got it out of the brine, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put some seasoning on it. Today I'm using uh, something we got at Sam's Club. Uh, it's called Kinder's Seasoning the Blend. It's got salt, pepper, and garlic, but uh, you can use whatever. I mean, there's a lot of good rubs out there, a lot of good seasonings that you can use that um, you may like better. I mean, but this is what we like. We like garlic, salt, and pepper, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Probably do half the chicken with this one, and then I have another one here by Stubbs. It's a... Uh, sea salt with paprika and garlic so we're just we're gonna mix it up a little bit and uh we like variety around this house so we're gonna we're gonna do a little half and half this morning and uh just go ahead and give it a liberal coating on here i'm not putting anything on this chicken it's wet already so it's got a lot of moisture in it and uh i'm some people put olive oil some people put uh different stuff on it to make it stick i'm not doing that i'm just gonna go ahead and go 
liberal with my with my seasoning and get it all seasoned up. I may just do a little half and half too. I may just uh, put some of this on it and then turn around and put some of the stubs on it too. I don't know. We'll just we'll just play it by ear. We like to swing by the seat of our pants in this household, so we're uh, we're just gonna roll with it. But this uh, this brine makes a big difference on this chicken. It always makes it taste better. Always comes out juicy. So we prefer to do the brine thing. But you do it however you want to do it. All right. We'll, uh, we'll put this chicken over here in a second. Looks like I missed a little bit here, so. We got plenty of chicken today, as you can see. Enough to feed a stinking army. So let's flip this stuff over. We're gonna flip it over. And uh, we're gonna season the rest of it. Turn that over like that. Got legs. We uh, we like to do leg quarters too. Those come out pretty good. But uh, today we got what was on sale, so. We rolled with the chicken legs and the and the chicken thighs. These chicken thighs come out amazing. They come out so juicy. We'll turn around, and put some of the stubs on there now. We'll do uh, we'll do half half with that. And we'll we'll keep the garlic on the other half. Coat it real good. Flip these over. Get these on. Just a real good coating on here. Good chicken. Flip it over. All right, guys, well, we're gonna get this out on the grill and uh, we'll see y'all when we get it out there. All right, grill. everybody. So now we got our chicken seasoned and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the grill here. And grill's up to temp. I think we're about 250. Uh, it's a little higher than I want, but it's a windy day. So it's been kind of hard to regulate. So uh, we're just gonna put this chicken on here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it all on here. And uh, whatever I don't get on here, I'm gonna put on my pellet grill, but I'm gonna do a review on the pellet grill or a video on the pellet grill another day. Um, we're gonna try to just squeeze. Like I said, this is the classic Joe. You can't can't get a whole ton on here because this is an 18 inch grill. So, but we'll see what we can get. Put our legs on here. Just a lot of chicken. A lot of chicken, but we'll try to get as much as we can in here. We should be able to get a good bit of it. Let's put some more legs. Just kind of squeeze these out a little bit. Got a little mixture of rubs here, so we got a little variety today. This wind is battling us. This is the worst when you're trying to smoke and you got all this wind, so we're, uh, we'll make the best of it though. over here this is my probe that I'm monitoring inside that I showed you all on that 
that wireless set. I love that thing. That's a Thermal Pro. I'll have to do a review on that one day, but uh, that thing's awesome. These thighs are so good. Bone in thighs are the way to go. To me, they just give so much more flavor than the, uh, the boneless. Boneless are good, but I just feel like the ones with the bone, they just have so much more flavor on them. They're so much better. All right, well, it looks like we got a full grill. Um, we're going to rock with that, and the rest we're going to put on the pellet grill. So we're going to shut this bad boy. We're going let to it, let it do its thing. In a couple hours, we'll just keep checking it. I like to cook the chicken to, to how it looks. Some people would disagree and they want to probe everything, but uh, I just feel like I can look at it and then tell it's kind of done. If you've cooked a lot, you can kind of tell when chicken's done. Um, you know, every now and then I'll, I, I might probe a piece or two, but I'm not going to probe all of it. And, uh, just to check it, you know, just to make sure. But, um, I just like to cook till I know it's done. You know, I feel like I know when it's done. So. All right, we're going to shut her up, and we're going to uh, come back to y'all in a little bit. And let you... All right, guys, I'm back. Um, we've been going for about an hour, a little bit over an hour with this cook so far. Um, we're holding pretty steady at 250-ish, eh, 240. So we're we're doing pretty pretty good. I mean, we've been holding pretty good. Um, initially, when I put the chicken on the grill, it kind of came down, but then it came back up, which that's normal. It was, it was The chicken was a little cold from the brine. So um, let's take a look. Let's just burp this thing and see what we got going on here. Woo, see all that smoke coming out of there. It's looking good though. It's looking real good. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep rocking and rolling with it, but that chicken's starting to look good and get some good, good color on it already. We'll just close this thing back up and uh, starting to warm up out here a little bit. It's gonna be a good day. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep rocking and rolling with it, but as we go longer, I'll uh, we'll check it back here in a little bit and see what it's looking like. See you on a bit. We're about at the two and a half hour mark. We're just going to glaze these a little bit. They're looking good. I think we're gonna go let them go for about another 15 or 20 minutes and I think we're gonna pull them. Uh, they are uh, they're looking good. Kept good temp the whole time. Except for when we initially put the chicken on. They're looking good. This will uh this will be coming off like I said another 15 or 20 minutes. We'll get back with you when we pull it off. Hey everybody, so this is our finished product from today. Um, this was the first pan was the first set of chicken that we put on the grill today. And it came out okay, but uh, we didn't really turn it. So uh, I kind of just let it sit and I didn't turn it throughout the video or when we were doing the video today. So um, it kind of cooked a little much on the bottom. We went about two and a half hours and it kind of cooked a little much on the bottom and it kind of, it dried out the bottom. So we did another, this second pan right here we did, and we actually did it for two and a half hours and we actually turned it and it came out amazing. And we put some, we put a lot more barbecue sauce on it. So this one came out pretty good. And um, we're gonna try it. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a little taste test right here. So. Pretty dang good. I think we went a little long on the smoke. I probably should have pulled it off a little earlier, but overall pretty good. This one, we went two and a half hours on, but we turned it and we basted this one a little bit more. I basted it about 20 minutes before I pulled it off. Much better. Both are very good. But this one came out a lot better. But if you guys have any comments, please leave them. 
If you have any recommendations, please leave them. Like I said, I'm just an everyday barbecue or an everyday smoker. I like to do this on the weekends for my family. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you hated it. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody's comments. Thanks.